Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back here to Maximus the Fourth. What I have here is many assorted, a lot of rare, and if not very hard to find sodas for a YouTuber that goes by the name of Joel Nert. Joel, he has something that I badly want. It is a Pepsi Lime Mint which was a Poland exclusive, and it is now discontinued. I actually commented on one of Joel's videos, asking him if he could sell that Pepsi Lime Mint to me, and he very kindly responded with, maybe we could arrange for a trade. Maybe you have something that I haven't been able to get my hands on. Well, Joel, here's the selection. For Joel and the viewers, I'll go ahead and walk you through each and every last one of these items. So this is a modern day Pepsi Vanilla. Uh, Pepsi Vanilla, it is still out there, but it is extremely hard to find. You can usually only find it on the Upper East Coast in states like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, Massachusetts, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the ingredients are a little bit different than the original Pepsi Vanilla that's in this, but it's very, very good. And Joel, I'm pretty sure that you're a Pepsi, guys, so I would bet you you would love this, and your fans would probably like to see you try that. Now, Joel, I don't really know if you're a Mountain Dew guy or anything. I know you're definitely a big-time Pepsi guy, so you would probably jump all over that, if you, especially have, if you haven't tried it. But what I have next here, this is a Mountain Dew Baja Deep Dive. This was actually another Pepsi sweepstakes item. And they only made 18,000 six packs of this that they sent especially out to fans. And it was marketed as to find the lost treasures in Baja Island. And right there, that is a cartoonized bottle of Mountain Dew Pitch Black. It turns out that the whole legend in the tale behind Mountain Dew Baja Deep Dive was to celebrate the return of Mountain Dew Pitch Black. This is pretty good. Next up here, what this is, this is called Felice Melon Cream Soda. This is very popular in Japan, and I actually originally bought um, this off of eBay for way too much. I probably could have spent like 25 or 50 bucks if I was thinking straight on Amazon, but that's a pretty good soda, Joel. You might like that one. Um, this is another very valuable one. This right here is Dr. Pepper Fantastic Chocolate. This was pretty much a sweepstakes item, but for Dr. Pepper, not Pepsi. And the way this worked was that there was a website called the Dr. Pepper Fan Perks website. And what you had to do is you had to buy your favorite Dr. Pepper products and you were to log in to Dr. Pepper Fan Perks website. I think there was one or two days out of the entire year that it would work for you to physically log into that website. And you had to punch in codes that were on the caps of the Dr. Pepper products. And you had to accumulate, I think it was like... I don't know. It was a certain amount of points that you had to have, like 400, 500 points. It basically translates to like, I think, 50 or $100, maybe $150 worth of Dr. Pepper products. And it's unknown how many of these were out there, but I couldn't imagine that they made any more than 10,000 cans of this. And it wouldn't surprise me if it was even as low as 2,000 cans. Up next... This is Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot. This actually, I believe it was first released on, in the earlier part of 2021. I want to say it was either in March or April. And Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot was actually only available on Pepsi's Mountain Dew website. And it actually, this one actually sold out in just one hour. <clears throat> and this is actually pretty good. Pepsi partnered with Flamin' Hot Cheetos and made their own soda, and that's a pretty interesting one. Now this next one is the official store release of Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot. You notice that it has a different picture on here. There's a lime 
So they pretty much added uh, lime flavor in this. It says, with a blast of heat and citrus flavor with other flavors. And this was released, I think it was five or six months later in 2021, after this one. Because people really liked Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot. And because it sold out so fast, there was a lot of people that were let down. So Pepsi re-released Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot for limited time only on all store shelves for about a month. And this one was actually better. This one, I think, was actually spicier than the this one. And it they're both pretty good. And this right here, this is Vanilla Bean Bold Ginger Rail. This was actually released in 2021, and it was a limited winter edition, which it says right here. Some of you out there may have heard of uh, Canada Dry Bold Ginger Ale. Well, this one is an added vanilla bean, and this was discontinued pretty quick. I would be very surprised if this lasted any longer than three or four months, and maybe not even that long but what i can tell you is there is a lot of there's very little that's known about this and i personally have sold like seven or eight batches of this off of my ebay account i've made probably four hundred dollars off of this soda alone so joel um i have two cans for you if you want to take me up on this trade and i'll make it easy for you joel we don't even have to do can for can i'll send you every last freaking one of these sodas in a flat rate box so joel do you accept my offer all i'm asking is for that pepsi lime mint that's all i want and if you happen to have any other rare pepsi flavors out there that i have not tried i'm also looking for a pepsi christmas cola the japan exclusive I badly want one of those. So Joel, if you're interested in this trade, email me at brandonjgoodwin at hotmail.com and I will make sure to leave that down in the description below. And I, I really hope to hear from you. I hope, let's hope that Joel answers my request. That's it, you guys. Maximus the fourth here, and I will see you next time.